Reading Course Development for English 115 Students Chapter 5 Communication Unit 3 Communication in the Internet Age Facts and Trends Objectives After completing this unit, students will be able to list the facts about communication in the Internet Age. Describe Internet usage by men, women, and children. And understand the negative effect of Internet use. More Americans online than ever. Paragraph 1. According to a 2005 Pew survey, 68% of adults in the United States go online regularly, where they do a wide variety of things. Most use email, 91%. Many, 84%, use search engines to find information. Two-thirds buy products, 64%. About half do job-related research. Others play online games, 36%, listen to music, 34%, or try to meet someone, 27%. Paragraph 2. Men and women use the Internet in close to equal numbers, with men going online a bit more, 69%, than women, 67%. Not surprisingly, younger men and women log on much more often than older adults. For example, 84% of adults between the ages of 18 and 29 use the Internet. In contrast, only 26% of adults aged 65 and older log on regularly. Paragraph 3. The number of teens using the Internet is even higher, 87%. More teens than adults use new technologies such as instant messaging, IM, and text messaging in order to connect with friends. Half of all teens surveyed use the Internet daily. In the last four years, teen use of the Internet has increased by 24%. Pulling the plug to encourage in-person communication. Paragraph 4. Some parents and employers are reacting to these high numbers by placing limits on Internet use. Employees at U.S. companies have to deal with three times the amount of email than they did in 1999. At U.S. Cellular, a Chicago-based company, Workers are no longer allowed to use business-related email on Fridays. The same is true for Veritas Software in Mountain View, California. There, employees can be fined $1 for sending business-related email after midnight on Friday. Both companies report positive results with more face-to-face -face meetings. Paragraph 5. Other companies are building more common areas so that employees can sit and work together instead of staying in individual cubicles. According to the Facility Performance Group, hotels are building three times more meeting spaces and conference rooms than they did 15 years ago. Americans are spending more on business travel so that they can meet in person to do business. Paragraph 6. There are more and more summer camps for teenagers that advertise low-tech experiences. It is estimated that 90% of summer camps don't allow the use of cell phones or other electronic devices. Some go even further. Farm and Wilderness, a group of six camps in Vermont, has cabins without electricity so that no one can go online. Campers there do not even wear watches. Instead, they wait for the sound of the bell to know when it is time to move on to a new activity. Another organization, the Island School, takes young people for trips abroad to study, do volunteer work, and play sports. This school allows only one 15-minute phone call a week. Match the following words with its correct meaning on the right. Number one, boughs. C. The limbs or branches of trees. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word boughs. Mohammed, can you talk about this? I see your trees and branches and limbs of this tree and there is boughs. Now let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word boughs. I'll read the sentence for you. We climb them. We build forts out of their boughs. We lie on the grass beneath them and watch their branches sway in the wind. We envy monkeys and birds with their agility and we find fascination with the tiny beasts that inhabit decaying tree trunks. Number two, foliage. A. The leaves of trees. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word foliage. In this picture I see trees and they are different colors. It's like fall season. 
and their leaves is they have like orange, yellow, and green. And foliage is the leaves of the trees. Now let's take a look at a paragraph which contains the vocabulary word foliage. I'll read the sentence for you. Perhaps the strangest, we spend most of our time gazing upward, attempting to sort out the complex array of branches and foliage that is difficult to observe. Number three, mount. Muhammad, please give us the correct meaning on the right. E, climb. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word mount. Muhammad, could you please talk about this? Well, I see a tree and there's a house in the tree, and you have to climb to get into it. Mount. Now let's take a look at a paragraph related to the vocabulary word mount. I'll read the sentence for you. I could not share the canopy with my students by using ropes, for only one person at a time could mount them. Number four, arborist. Muhammad, please give us the correct meaning on the right. B. Someone who specialized in trees. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word arborist. Muhammad, could you please talk about this? I see a man looking into this tree, and he's checking the health of the tree. That's his specialization. Arborist means someone who specializes in trees. Now let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word arborist. I'll read the sentence for you. Then, like a gift from heaven, a letter came to me one day from an arborist in nearby Amherst. Number five, platforms. Muhammad, please give us the correct meaning on the right. D. Tall or high built structures. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word platforms. Muhammad, could you please explain this? Well, I see a platform. Tall or high built structure built in the trees. Platforms. Now let's take a look at a paragraph related to the vocabulary word platforms. I'll highlight the word for you. Let's read the sentence. Our budget was a modest $2,500, which provided two platforms, connected by one bridge with a 75-foot access ladder, plus safety equipment for the students. Choose the best answer. Question number one. Margaret Lohman is... B. A scientist who studies living things in tree canopies. Now let's take a look at a paragraph which shows us this answer. When I, Margaret Lohman, returned from Australia to my position as a biology professor at Williams College, I wanted to share the wonders of the forest canopy with my enthusiastic biology students. Question number two. Lohman was frustrated with single rope techniques for canopy access because... C. Only one person at the time could climb into the canopy and walk there. Now let's take a look at a paragraph that shows us this answer. I could not share the canopy with my students by using ropes, for only one person at a time could mount them. Now let's have a discussion. Mohammed, could you tell us the most interesting thing you learned in this unit? I learned the walkway in the canopy of trees was really interesting and new concept, which really helped scientists to learn more about animals, plants, and things living in the tree canopy.